Welcome on in, everyone. We are back, the cousins. This is Beer Talk with Kyle and Joe. I'm Kyle. What is going on, guys? I'm Joe. Thank you so much for coming and returning back to the channel for yet another video. So just like the title says, we're going to be talking about dropship companies. So really high level, what is a dropship company? A dropship company is a, a beer company that will hire a third party company to either make or distribute their products. Mm -hmm. So this has been a hot button topic around the community. Is it okay? Is it not okay? Is it safe? Is it safer than maybe making it on your own? So everyone kind of has a different opinion or maybe you've never even heard of this process before. So Joe and I have absolutely no issue with it as long as you're being honest and as long as you're being safe with it. So we actually have a really special guest that's going to come on the channel and enlighten us about being a dropship company. All right. And if you guys have not uh, done so, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you're not missing any of our future content, hit that thumbs up. And this is definitely a video where we want to see some awesome comments from you. We really want to hear your thoughts as long as they're... Um, respectful but we definitely want to hear you guys out because i know there's some opinions on there but hang tight and we'll be right back right after this intro What is going on, everybody? We have an awesome video for you guys today. We are honored to have Ray from Husky Beard and Grooming here with us. And uh, Ray, how are you doing, man? I'm good. I'm good. How are you guys? Thanks for having me on. Doing doing great. It's uh, This is something that we've been looking forward to. And we got a very, very interesting topic for everybody. Um, definitely a topic that has been talked about a lot within the community, but a lot of misconception that I think this video will provide an opportunity to really clear up. So Kyle, my cuz, how's it going? Yes, going good, man. I'm so excited again, Ray. Thank you so much for being on here. As people know, one of our absolutely favorite companies, 100% class all the way. So again, thank you for being here, my friend. No, thank um, you. So yeah, today we're talking about dropship companies. We want to go ahead and educate people. Everyone has their opinion on dropship companies, which is totally fine. But when it comes to dropship, one of the biggest and best in our opinion is Husky Beard. So Ray, if you don't mind, I'm gonna go ahead and give you the floor and you know, give us your spin on dropship companies, maybe how you do things, how you feel about them, how the process is, you know, go ahead and educate us. Sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to be here. Thanks for having me on. And, and I'd love to talk about this topic. Um, you're right, there's a big uh, misconception, I guess you can say out there about uh, drop ship companies. And, uh, you know, you say Husky Beard's one of the biggest, we were one of the biggest drop ship companies. Um, we don't uh, really drop ship per se anymore. Uh -oh, okay. uh, but we we did a lot in the past. Uh, when we first started out when we purchased the, the uh, company about three years ago, um, they were traditionally a drop ship company, which meant that um, the company that manufactured our products for us would just slap a label on them and ship them out for us. So basically all we were doing was selling a product. Um, to start out, we, we could work with the company and tell them, you know, we want to, to sell this type of product. And they would say, okay, we have these scents available. You can choose whatever you want to choose. You can call it whatever you want to call it create the labels, uh, send us the label file. They took care of printing the labels, packaging the product, everything. So really our involvement with, with the drop shipping company at, at a um, true drop shipping level was they took care of everything and all we did was sell. Um, and we were always open and honest about that. We had it on our website and the about us information. Um, we would say that our products were manufactured by another company and that they drop shipped for us so awesome now how does it work as far as if you're going to come out with a new scent because my impression always was you know you would pick the ingredients you would pick the scent profile everything like that and then they would kind of put it together for you am i am i on the right page there so it can go any number of ways and that is an option that uh you know when we first started out in this um we were new at it just like every other company that starts out and um, we thought that we had to use their formulas and basically their products. 
But what a lot of drop shippers will do is let you have complete control over the formulation of the scents and the carrier oils that go into the base and uh, the consistency of the oils and uh, you know, the type of in ingredients that you want in your creams or your butters, if you want to put a little bit of wax in there, they can change it up. So when we found that out, we were like, holy cow, this opens up a whole new world for us. So, you know, we did resell some of their scents, but at that point we're like, okay, we're going to do our own scents from now on that nobody else is going to have. Mm -hmm. And we would go to them and say, all right, we want a scent that has this profile and they would help us create it. So they would um, ask us what carriers we want in it and what the profile was, um, if there were any particular essential oils that were off limits. Mm -hmm. And then we would just refine it over, you know, a back and forth for as long as it took. And once the, the product was tested and perfected, then they would mass manufacture it uh, according to volume and demand. So, okay. Awesome. Awesome. Was there, uh, was there ever a fear that, you know, obviously it, it, I would imagine that there's other companies who were using the same manufacturer, even same, you know, like, like beard, you know, related companies. Was there ever a fear that you would have like a company who just has nothing but identical products, scents, ingredients as, as you and how that would look? Absolutely. Yeah, there is a big fear of that. Uh, not so much anymore because we really d differentiated ourselves. Differentiated, that's a difficult word, but uh, <laughs> we set ourselves apart from the competition um, with the products that we create with this manufacturer. And uh, there was a time where we did run into uh, a few different times actually where we had identical scents to other companies and um, it just comes down to how well you market yourself. Uh, the, the market's big enough for everybody. You know, the market's big enough for twice as many beard care companies as there are right now. Um, and, you know, that's just my, my personal opinion that even if we sell the same scent as somebody else, um, that's okay. You know, we're not, we're not saying that we don't and we try to make ourselves as different as possible. Um, and, and I think what it comes down to and really one of the most important things in how we built our company is with customer service. Mm -hmm. If you're providing a great product and great customer service, then you're doing something right mm -hmm. and business will come because of it. So yeah, most um, there was, yeah, there was, there's was one thing that I, um, I had heard you say before um, was that one of the, one of the reasons why you had chosen this route before is because of yes, the customer service, like you just mentioned and putting a lot of focus on that, but also the safety um, of, of the consumer uh, mm -hmm. and making sure that they're putting safe products in their beard. Can you, can you touch on that a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. So the safety of the products is huge for us. Um, and we're not saying that companies that make the products themselves are not safe. That's the complete opposite. It doesn't matter how big you are, how small you are, as long as you're pro practicing proper safety measures when creating these products, then fantastic. I have no problem with it if you drop ship or if you don't drop ship. Ship. That's it's it's fine either way. For us, for Husky Beard, in particular, that's the, the only company I can speak to because I own it. Yeah. Um, we could not manufacture our products properly with the proper safety measures in place. We just didn't have the ability to do that. That's what made drop shipping so appealing to us is that we can have access to this facility that makes the products in a safe manner, and then we can just package them and resell them. So um, our involvement now has gone further than that because we don't drop ship. Um, but that has to do with something uh, outside of the safety aspect of it. So makes sense. Now um, I'm curious, what are some of that you found? So, and if you touched on this a little bit earlier, I apologize. What are some of the pros and then some of the cons when it comes to Husky beard for drop ship? And then what, you know, what, um, so what are you exactly doing now? Cause I know you said you're not exactly a drop ship company now. Right. So the pros are, the ease of doing it. Uh, mm -hmm. It's not easy per se, but it is easier than manufacturing everything yourself. Mm -hmm. um, 
you don't have to manage inventory yourself. Uh, you don't have to have a facility that is large enough to handle inventory. Mm -hmm. um, another great thing about drop shipping is it's generally, um, you have net terms with them. So uh, you, you sell the product, they fulfill the orders, and then they bill you on like a net 10 or a net 30 term so that you're always paying for product that you've already gotten paid for. Um, that makes it easy to start up a business because you don't have all the overhead involved. Um, and then just the safety with the manufacturing. Those are the big pros. As far as cons, um, for us in, in specific with Husky Beard, uh, one of the biggest cons for us was the quality. Um, not the quality of the product, but the quality of... Uh, and when I say product, what goes into the bottles, that's right. fantastic. The oils and the creams and the washes and conditioners, those are all fantastic products. But because they're doing such high volumes for so many different beard companies, um, their work got really sloppy. Uh, it started out great, but we found that the more customers we got and the more orders we sold, uh, the worse it would get. So whereas we would get maybe one complaint a month from somebody saying, uh, my cream arrived and the seal wasn't sealed properly and it had leaked all over the place to oh, wow. where it was like five or six a day that we were like, oh my goodness, this is a huge mess. So, and then working with a dropship company that uh, is doing so many orders, um, you, you run into customer service issues. So the manufacturing quality and the customer service issues and then the response times, um, they're so busy that they can't handle you individually as well as they could if uh, you know they were just doing one or two dropship companies. So that's why we pulled away from them. And now we just get the raw materials from them. So we get the oil in bulk and we get the cream in bulk and we, we produce them and, you know, do all the processing ourselves in a safe facility that is clean and compliant where we're putting the oil in the bottles. We're printing the labels ourselves. We're putting the labels on, we're packaging everything. We're shipping everything. Um, you know, we're taking the creams from the big jugs that they send us and we're scooping it out and putting it in the containers and, and doing everything except for acquiring the raw materials and putting them together. So um, we're really taking it, taking it as far as we can without actually doing the raw material manufacturing ourselves. Gotcha. But we have complete control over everything. And we did that because we saw the quality slipping. So quality was really, really high on our, um, our priority list. And, and okay. we needed to take control over that. That's awesome. Yeah. And I, I know I appreciate that. I've never, <laughs> I've never had, you know, customer service or a bad experience with Husky. I know so many people yeah. that, are, that are huge fans. Um, right. So first of all, thank you for enlightening us on that. It's such a yeah. um, kind of a hot button topic, you know, and if any of this it sways is. anyone's opinion, good or bad, that's totally fine. You know, you're, you know, you're allowed to have your opinion on it. I personally, and I know Joe too, has no issue with, with dropship companies. Yeah. Um, so I appreciate you, that. Yeah, and, and I think I think the what I've noticed within the community and Kyle, you and I have to really upgrade to pro because you know we're we're time limited here. We're down to like seven minutes now. But um, <laughs> we, um, you know, one of the things that we've seen within the community, it just it seems like a lot of people may not have issues with drop shipping itself. It's just they want the owners to be honest about it, and I, I really and I think that's because. The majority of the consumers, they are blue collar workers, meat and potato type guys. And those are, the, and the honesty is probably just a big thing on their, on, on their checklist of things that they just overall appreciate. What would you say to one of those or many of these blue collar workers who may watch this video and are like, you know what, I, I only want to do the small batch, you know, I, I, I know I, I want I want to support the guy that just does everything themselves. What what would you like to say to them so they maybe have a better understanding that look, yeah, maybe they don't you know do everything, but they still put in a lot of work, if, if that makes sense. 
Yeah, um, I I appreciate you guys, uh, you know, the kind words that you just said. And I, I totally understand where these um, hardworking consumers uh, are coming from. Uh, when I spend my money, I want it to be to support something that I believe in. Mm. So I'm all for that. And I totally agree that that um, as long as the owner of the company is honest and straightforward and, and uh, doesn't claim to be making everything themselves if they're not, and uh, doesn't claim to have, you know, 100% original uh, sense when they're really not their sense, they're just repackaging something, as long as they're being open and honest about it and not, um, you know, pulling the wool over anybody's eyes, then I feel like it's a good thing. And really the work that goes into running a company is hard work, no matter what you're doing. You're out there hustling day in and day out. And, um, it all comes down to what you want to support, like I said, and everybody is entitled to to support what they want to support. That's their thing. That's their money. They work hard for it, and they should be able to buy what they want to buy. Um, where it draws the line is when you start trying to uh, push your opinion or impose on somebody else or tell somebody else that they're a lesser person because they do support drop shipping or they don't support drop yeah. shipping. Either way, you know, there's... Yeah. There's so much hate out there in the world. Just be kind. That's what it comes down to. Exactly. So you see people are just trying to survive. Right now, Husky's in a position where we were at the top of the world there for a minute. And now we're just trying to survive like everybody else. And we're working really hard to do it. So we appreciate anybody that's willing to give our products a try because we provide a great product and a great service. Mm. And that's all it comes down to. So. Right. Well, well said, right. And, and I've known you for, for, we've known you for a little while and um, we, we can certainly appreciate that. So if you don't mind, a few rapid fire questions for you to end this. Sound good? Let's do it. Yeah. All right. So this is kind of a running joke on the channel. Do you or anyone in your immediate family not like peanut butter? Uh, my son's allergic to it, so he doesn't like it. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. If he's <laughs> allergic, he doesn't like it. All right. So um, last one, which is a, which is a two-parter here. If you okay. had to pick, What's your favorite Husky scent? What's your favorite Husky product? Oh, that one's easy. So my favorite Husky scent is black suede, personally. Uh, not only because it's my wife's favorite, but because it's my favorite as well. I think it's a super masculine scent that uh, smells horrible in bottle, but smells fantastic <laughs> in, in beard. Once you put it in beard, it smells so good. Uh, right. If I had to choose a second one, if you'll indulge me, it would be yeah. Royal Black. Uh, that one has a lot of history to it uh, it's a smell that I remember from when I was a child and it brings back really good memories for me so royal black and black suede are my two favorite and uh, my favorite husky product um, I've got to go just with our creams I love how they feel in my beard they're not too you know when I have a beard I just got stubble <laughs> right now but um they're not too heavy and they're not too light they provide a perfect amount of hold and uh, they really do a great job of nourishing my beard and skin personally so that's my Good favorite answer. husky Good product answer. quick awesome. story i want to finish with and i'll make it quick when uh joe and i first started um and our very second review was husky beard because it's always has been one of our favorite companies had never spoken to you before ever and nothing like that yeah. Um, when we dropped your review, I think we had 12 subscribers yeah. being kind to us, reposting for us almost did nothing for you. And you were one of very few companies when we were that small, no questions asked, replied to us, thanked us, reposted, did everything you can do, even though we were giving a review for you. But again, about 10 to 12 people were going to see it. And um, in, in my opinion, I know Joe's as well. That's the kind of guy you are. That's the kind of company that you run. So right. Ray, thank you so much for being here, my friend. Um, the education for everyone, um, giving us your time and a huge congratulations on your success. Cause I know when you first bought Husky to now, huge difference that you've done for the company. It's night and day. Yeah. And, and I appreciate that. Thank you so much for sharing that story. That, that means everything to me. So absolutely. I appreciate it. All right, Ray, take care. And everybody thank watching, you. thank you so much for uh, taking the time to check this out. Please give Husky um, a shot if you have not done so. Uh, they, Ray has been doing great things for a very, very long time. There's plenty of other guys other than us 
uh, just pull, pull them up on YouTube. You'll see that there's a lot of amazing uh, content creators who feel the same way as we do. So thank you guys so much, Ray. It's been a pleasure. And uh, we'll definitely talk to you at the next one.